win in a tie. Castro Nevis would Ten lose to, to Hornet go. Jr. because Hornish won more races in the season. Hornish has four wins, Elio has two. Sharp and Barron could both become a factor as they're closing in. Now, Paul, with 10 laps left to go, all the drivers are trying their hardest, but I can tell you these two guys up front right now, heart rate's probably about 180 or 200, and their foot is mashed all the way down on the gas. They're not going to lift at all. And you can't minimize the desire of Baron and Sharp. And they could be the ones that actually change the championship. Well, exactly what can happen. We've seen this happen in Chicago. We've seen it happen here before. Still inside, inside. If Still these there. two guys Still are inside. dead heat as they inside. are right now, Still side inside. by side, if the driver comes up closer. behind, as Barrett is right now, oh, and Hart is trying Hornish to go Hornish. for Still the lead. Inside. Still inside. Catherine is going to hold him. So it may be the drivers in second and Still third inside. Get close. Not there. Still inside. In that second line, that's going to maybe help the outcome of this race. Shades of Chicago a week ago, they continue side Still by inside. side. Still inside. Still Mira there. now Still comes inside. up in that battle for third. Now Castro Nevis has the advantage on the low line in the bottom of the turns. Lap traffic is coming up here. Hornish is going to try and squeeze him low, box him in. We'll have to see what happens. Castro Nevis is going to try and push him high. They split. Oh. Mira comes to third. Look at this. He's trying to push him up. They touched. Sam's wheel definitely Clear touched. Behind. He Clear saw a suspension behind. move. Castro Nevis comes out and around clean. Oh, oh, never mind. They moved it. It's fine. Five laps to go. Two cars behind you now. Two cars behind you. And the two car, Mira, is very powerful. Pole center. Another young Brazilian. Daring, brave. Wants to show something to his owner, John Menard. And if he does, and puts Hornish down into third place, the championship changes. But right now, Hornish Jr. is the champion, and he may be the leader. Still inside, still there, still there. Now, if he gets through, Paul, Still you inside. watch Sam. He I will dive back, towards the bottom. Oh! 220 miles an hour, not giving an inch. Still inside. Still there. Still inside. See, here comes Mira's Sharp. Off the gas they around. They go in. They come back in on. See, Sharp's got the experience. He's hungry. He can see it. He can taste it. You heard Mira Still lift inside. off the gas. Still inside. Still there. Two former winners now running on the inside. Sharp, former champion. And Alex Barron, who won his first race this season. Three to go. Hornish gets him right at the line. And remember, last week in Chicago, every lap they were calculating what did it take just to get your nose ahead at the line, because that's the only place it counts. Jim Sendrick Hall is telling Castro Nevis, think still about inside, the line. Still there, still inside, think still there. about the position at the finish. I'm sure he is. All right now, all he can do is win it. White flag, white flag, one to go, one to go, all over your butt. Stay tight, stay <laughs> tight. And these guys know it. Still side by side. Hornet Jr. had the lead by inches as they crossed the line last time. Now he comes a little bit further ahead. They come for the line. They come for the line. And it's Hornet. It's Hornet. Hornet's the champion. Hornet's the winner. Absolutely the chip. Elio Castroneves crosses the line 96 ten thousandths. Behind Hornish, Mira third, Sharp fourth, Baron fifth. Ready. Oh, so are we. That's Scott Sharp. Let's go to Bob. Scott Sharp finishes fourth, and now Sam Hornish Jr. in the car with the American flag on board. Comes from turn number three around here to the main straightaway, where, of course, the championship uh, laurels will be presented him. Actually, he's going uh, down the backstretch in the opposite direction of the uh, race traffic. 
but it's just uh, allowing the fans to celebrate with him this incredible year that the Pennzoil Panther team has had and that Sam Hornish has brought them. His Here's the finish. 96 ten thousandths of a second was the margin. Not quite as close as last week, but hey, you can't get